Happy Saturday. I am here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, also known as Peaceburg, on a roof garden. Holy cannoli, this place is amazing. We are at the home of Marin Cook, and uh, we are exploring this beautiful roof garden. We made a video here about two years ago, and I'll post a link to it. You can see what it used to look like. And this is it here in the spring of 2012. So what have we up here? What have we? Well, we've got, um, I don't know how many, but a lot of square feet of uh, very productive crop space. Oh. Um, 16 solar panels. Wow. Uh, which will, should peak out at about three kilowatts of electricity when it's very sunny in the sun. They will, they will peak out if the sun peak, peaks out? If the sun peaks out. Today, they peaked at about 1,600 watts. But on a sunny day in spring now, they're peaking about 2,600 watts, and their theoretical maximum is 2.96 kilowatts. Wow. So uh, they're on a sunny day when we're not doing much at home, they'll be feeding our neighbors' houses. So even when we can't use all the energy, wow. um, we're avoiding the, what is it, 50% transmission losses of normal power plant produced power. Wow, so there's an abundance of energy with these solar panels here on this roof garden. I probably have some, some of these greens over here still stuck in my teeth. I just ate some of these fresh greens growing here in April. Um, I actually helped a little bit planting these beds. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to see the the vegetables of my labor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fruits of your, well, these will be the fruits. And these will these be the fruits. And a couple little dwarf fruit trees. Last year, that one produced a peach. One peach on a little twig. Uh, a very yummy peach, I'll tell you. I ate it. Wow. I shared it with my family. Very nice. Uh, hopefully this year it'll produce more peaches, and that one will make plums, and that one will make cherries, and I've got grapes and kiwis up here too. So there will be fruits of labors. Wow. Any other things you want to highlight while we're up um, here? Well, I can show you what the beds are made out of. Um, this is a hollow recycled plastic timber. Wow. Um, that fits into joints. You just get screwed on, and then they get held together by stakes in the corner, which is how they hold up multiple layers because the stakes fit into the other stakes. Hmm. Um, for use on the roof, I sawed off the bottom spike because um, I can't poke into my roof, that would be bad. Um, and because they're not going into the ground, and in some cases I'm using them pretty tall, I so, kind of sewed them off with uh, metal cable um, to keep them from collapsing outward. Yes, yes. Wow. Um, so, yeah, I've grown a lot of tomatoes and potatoes and greens and I've got garlic and onions coming up over there. Um, wow. I have grapes and kiwis on the ground, and I planted some more around that edge. Um, so what do your neighbors think? Um, do they want roof gardens? That, that house right there looks like it could support a roof garden. I don't know if those neighbors are quite up to it. They're fairly elderly and having lots of health issues. That ah. Keeps them quite busy. Um, well, maybe they... Maybe they need a team of, 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 of people to help with this next roof garden. <laughs> well, also, when we, were build, when we were renovating our house, we reinforced the roof. So um, I don't know if our neighbor's roof could hold up even this low amount of dirt. This is about five inches of dirt. I see. Um, I do have deeper beds around the peripheral bearing walls. Um, and here where this is the old exterior wall of the house from before a 1960 edition. And there's a beam here that goes across. And so that's how I can have that somewhat deep bed in the interior. Um, but you definitely have to pay attention to the weight load on the roof. Because, yes, um, yes. Sometimes when we get even if it might look fine now, if you get three feet of snow, as we did two years ago, mm -hmm. um, uh, that might be too much for it. And wet dirt is very, very heavy. Wow. So we have, I worked with an architect, um, and uh, 
based on what we did to reinforce the roof, uh, which was to um, gusset between the horizontal ceiling rafters and the slightly sloping roof rafters uh, with plywood to make an effective much taller rafter. Mm. Um, that gave us the weight bearing <laughs> capacity for the solar panels with cinder blocks holding down the uh, racks and the, the shallower beds of dirt gave us some extra weight capacity. But then over the, the beams like that one and the bearing walls around the edge of the house, uh, I can put much deeper beds. These ones aren't really full of dirt largely because um, it's a lot of work to get. A lot many, of dirt, up here, of dirt yes. up here, so I've kind of spread it out a little thinner. But as time goes on, I hope to get them brought up to a higher depth. Cool. And um, and because the deeper it is, the more root space there is, the less often you have to water. Yes. Um, and I watered quite fairly little last summer. It was a fairly moist summer, but and Pittsburgh is also blessed with rains that are spread throughout the year uh, more evenly than a lot of places. Hmm. And speaking of putting down roots, that is the name of Marin's blog, which I will post a link to. And this is just one inspiring example of many things happening in Pittsburgh and all over the world that are an example of people transitioning towards the world that we want to live in and doing amazing sustainability projects. So I encourage you to check out the other videos um, on transitionpgh.org as well as Marin's blog. Um, there's a lot of exciting things happening. There's many ways to get involved. So please uh, check out transitionpgh.org and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Kevin. Yes, thank you, Marin. And, and just, just a little background, she's also hosting a community gathering here today so people from all over the city are invited to come check out what she's got going here so we're sharing food downstairs and having a glorious time so have a beautiful day peace